What are some of the things in your area that you see out of town as those without local knowledge that, that they really stuff up and they don't be, they just don't see the mistake on the horizon? And definitely we'll get to you, Karen, ask you the same question. Yeah, because I know main roads, like a road can be a huge differentiator between the price of a property that's closer mm. to the ocean versus the other side. How how would you know, is that something that people make a mistake, not understanding those really unique differences locally for you? Yeah, look, there's some areas where people are, are, are saying, well, hey, this is really good value, and it does look good value on paper, but do they know that there's going to be a second M1, you know, mm. coming through the coast? You need to be aware of those things. You need to buff yourself away from those areas. You need to be at least 800 metres away from those localities. Um, so some know, infrastructural that- projects happening that they might not be aware of. Yeah, that's, 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 that's exactly right. You know, the disruption that it has, the noise pollution that it has, you know, down at Palm Beach, you know, uh, luckily one of our clients sold very quickly for a good price on the back of the M1 because it was coming and it is coming. And, uh, you know, we've got to cater for this infrastructure and it's through the through the road networks. And if you're not aware and you're looking at the, you know, warm and fuzzies of a home, you need to look at, the, you know, the holistic approach you can't just take two, three bed, one bath houses on 600 square metres and say, well, that one's sold for that, therefore this one's worth that because, you know, it may be that there's a big block of apartments being built next door. It may be that, as I say, the M1 is coming through and the noise corridor is going to increase. So that lo- that local knowledge, I think, Tony, you just absolutely nailed it, is um, is what causes people to to perhaps pay that 10% instead of understanding where, where real market value sits for a property. And it's really common too, that, that idea you're taking your capital city mentality and you're taking it to the to the regions and you think, oh, my God, like Karen, when you mentioned you can get an ocean um, view apartment for 400000 you know, here I am in Sydney go, oh, my God, I want to go and buy one because you, you, you're thinking, you know, you do, you compare it to where you come from, where you're familiar, yep. but that's a massive mistake. And so, Karen, have you got any other specific sort of local um, mistakes that you see out of towners or people that don't yeah. have the local? knowledge making i think one would be um just not understanding the distances so if you're moving from busy sydney and you travel 40 k's into work every day and that's your norm (laughs) and you think i'm going to move to the sunshine coast look at this amazing property it's only 40 k's from the beach that's very very different so (laughs) did people really say that (laughs) well yeah because like a lot of people sort of get taken with nice house and land. Even just saying 10 k. Well, yeah, in, in yeah, Lansborough, no, for example. Away. Lansborough is a, a really good example. Um, you know, nice new houses getting built there and it looks like a nice little place and they're very shiny and new, but it's on the other side of the Bruce Highway. It's not even on the, the beach side of the highway. And that technically it's 15, 20 minutes drive, which doesn't sound much if you commute an hour and a half in Sydney to work, but <laughs> it's not the same here. So you've got to just understand that if you're moving to the Sunshine Coast to be near the beach, you need to actually be near the beach. So don't get, <laughs> you know, that's don't such a get, good point. oh, we need to write that down. That's, that's a <laughs> don't get sucked in and, and using your own reference points in, from where you're coming from for distance. Like understand what is too far. To commute, like you're not going to drive your kids to school on that and school over there for 25 relative. minutes. Yes, yeah. it's locally relative, yeah. isn't it? It's not what you've got used to and what you're prepared to accept. It has to That's be locally it. relative. And us. you'll get here, and then you'll be very disappointed after a while that you're so far from the beach. So recalibrate. You got to <laughs> yeah, recalibrate. Exactly. Yeah. 